This weekend, it's the MTN8. We've got football back on the cards. It's a new season. The MTN8 always brings with it drama. And for more, I'm joined by Tabo September, who made his name in football with Supersport United. Tabo, welcome to the full view. Now, Supersport United, defending champions, they've got a tough uh, opening fixture against Chakuma FC. Those guys, they just made it into the top flight, but they really are an unknown quantity. Uh, what's your read on this? It's not easy, and they, uh, Supersport also have to go and travel all the way to Toyandu. Listen, who knows Chakuma? I mean, uh, TTM, I don't even know them, so... Uh, it's a tough one for, for Supersport. Um, they have to dig in. And, uh, you know, Toyando's hit, how it is. So it's going to be really a, a tough battle for them to, to get over this one. But, um, you know, you, in order to win the MTN8, you have to go through a lot of tough um, opponents and tough conditions. I mean, it's, it's nice to get far in the MTN8, but obviously most teams have got one eye on the, the beginning of the season. Now, putting a, a tricky fixture like TTM in the way of Supersport United and their first league fixture, what does that do to a team's confidence? Does that just kind of like tweak it a little bit and say, haha, you're not as prepared as you thought you were? Of course, of course, it does a lot in terms of... Uh their confidence, I think, especially in the first half, if they can manage to, to hold Supersport in the first half, it's going to be a point of we also belong in this stage. And uh, yeah, TTM playing in the MTN 8 um, on their first season, it's uh, definitely something new in um, a PSL era. So no team has ever uh, come straight into the um, division and just play in, 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 the, in the MTN 8 or top eight, as you mentioned it. So it's going to be a really tough one for them to maintain it. But if they get that confidence in the first half, it's going to be a tough one for Supersport. Well, speaking of new eras in the PSL, uh, the players have to get used to a new normal, uh, new safety protocols, uh, crucially no fans in the stadium. How's your read on this? Are you, are you liking what you're seeing from the, the uh, um, players playing in empty stadiums? We can hear the coaches' boxes and all of that. Is it, is it change the dynamic of football? Listen, first, um, COVID has really uh, disturbed the whole uh, spark in terms of uh, the world. But, um, you know, MTN has really brought fans to participate in, 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 the, in the game itself by um, opting uh, with uh, star 144, star 8 hash to, to participate and win prizes. So fans are still involved in terms of um, winning. Uh, there's a last fan standing of 1 million rand at the end of this tournament. So there's a lot for the fans to, 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 to participate on and to enter. And you can enter as many times as you, end, as you can every time you recharge uh, by 10 rand or more. You stand a chance to win that million. But if you look at the players now, for them, when they play without fans, especially the big teams, but if you speak of a team like Supersport and um, TTM, they will bring their A game because they are used to, 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 to I'm not undermining them, I'm just saying then the, the numbers of, of fans that you know take part in their games is not as many as Orlando Parades or Sundowns or Kaiser Chiefs. It's... Um, it's them playing against their opponents. And uh, I feel players of teams like uh, TTM and Supersport, they can adjust to such um, environments very quick than, than players that are playing for these um, well-followed teams. Um, so it's going to be a really uh, competitive game. Hope the sun doesn't really uh, bother the players because they both uh, based in the Houghton regions in terms of training, but um, they are in the in the in the Limpopo uh, for for the game, and it's going to be tough for both 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 sides. So, I mean, from a super sports perspective, going all the way to Toyando Stadium, and we know the mythology behind that stadium, and we know what kind of a vibe those fans can bring and how intimidating it can be for visiting fans. Take all that out of the equation, and is this a simple day at the office for super sport, or is there still something um, that they have to look out for? Super sport, they, 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 they know as professionals that 
Um, they're not playing against their fans. They're playing against the 11 players that are on the field. Um, and um, I think if they come with the mindset of that, the fans of uh, Toyando are not there. Um, they already lost the battle. But uh, with the mindset of knowing that it's an advantage on us, we are playing 11 against 11, and uh, we all facing the same uh, heat in terms of the sun. So um, then they, they can challenge. Um, and remember that Supersport is defending um, the MTN8. Mm. They voted twice, and uh, for them, they would want to be a team that wins it three times in a row. Um, if this, they can take over this challenge of TTM, a team that they don't know, um, it's going to push them when they face the other teams that they know um, in the MTN8. They are the only team that plays a team that has never played in the PSL before and in the MTN8 before. Let's talk about some of the other fixtures later that day. Orlando Pirates, Cape Town City at the Orlando Stadium. Again, no fans involved. But these are two teams that, let's just say, they've been underachieving uh, towards the end of last season. They can do better. Both of them obviously are going to look at this fixture as uh, it's a potential there to make a statement, I would assume. Sorry, I feel like um, they, they are teams that really performed well in the bubble when... Um, when the league was about to end, when they went into the bubble, um, Cape Town City were really being threatened in terms of relegation. And uh, they came into the bubble and they played very well. They beat some teams like a team that won the league. Um, and uh, I feel Orlando Pirates as well, to finish third behind um, Mameluta Sundowns and Kaiser Chiefs is not a bad um, end to the season. Um, so this is one game that I feel like it's going to be um, a tough for both opponents. Uh, Cape Town City would be happy not to have Orlando Paris fans at uh, Orlando Stadium on, on Saturday. So I feel like they, they have a little bit of an edge as much as they've lost Kemi Rasmus. Orlando Paris fans definitely feeling that if they've got Tyson, uh, Shatoayo and Hoto from Bidvest, um, they, they stand a better chance because they're not going to concede much goals. But um, yeah, let's, let's see how, how Saturday is going to be like, because with Saturday, it's going to build up to the Sunday fixtures that are also not easy for any team. Well, let's talk about that dynamic of the bio bubble, because it wasn't too long ago. And in effect, we could probably argue that that was uh, sort of like a pre-season for a lot of clubs. And to have the players together in an environment, socially distancing, of course, but really living with each other and focusing fully on football, that effect is obviously going to come over into the, uh, the new season, which is now. And it's probably already shown itself with Orlando Pirates and Cape Town City, their team dynamic is, is there and thereabouts. Yeah, no, definitely. I feel like um, the bubble was more like a preseason for, for teams. Um, teams just took a week or two the most uh, to, to take a break, but um, all the teams came back very quickly and uh, with the COVID, like I said, um, it's been difficult for, for all the teams. Teams are equal and um, the challenge now is how do you get your players to switch on in the beginning of the season like this, an MTNA challenge that's going to make um, players that are new, how do they adapt to, to the system that the coach wants them to play and uh, how do you connect with their, with their new teammates. Uh, but um, definitely something that's going to be, that always happens every season when, when, when the MTN8 comes around. That's when you see which team can challenge for the league and there's a competition that really allows players to 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 and and coaches to see their teams well one fixture that immediately jumped off the page when it was announced it's kaiser chiefs versus maritzburg united and crucially gavin hunt's first foray in charge of the amakosi a lot of focus on chiefs that's brilliant for maritzburg united isn't it they get to fly right under the radar they, they have been, um, I mean, they kept confidence in terms of um, a coaching staff and uh, players. And um, when you think of Kaiser Chiefs, they came second, but they've changed a lot in their team. When you change a coach, you change a lot. Um, the way style of play, you wonder if the time that 
has been given to Kevin Hunt, is it enough um, to face a, an opponent like Eric Tinkler, someone that he knows personally? So um, it's, it's, it's really going to be how do the players take coaches' instructions? Um, and um, it's good that the, the, the fans are not on the field to, to really um, put pressure on the Kaiser Chiefs players when they play their first game um, with the new coach. So the results are going to be more important than anything. But, you know, my respect, they really had a good, good run if you look at other competitions and the league against, against Kaiser Chiefs. So um, it's going to be a tough one. Uh, but um, I think the experience of Kevin Hunt and how he, he's, he's quick, having played against him, um, for him um, at Supersport, I mean, he's, he's quick at, at making players feel comfortable with his style of play. And um, that's going to be the upside of, of Kaiser Chiefs coming into this um, uh, game. Oh, Tava, we've just run out of time. So we can't talk about Sundowns and all their coaching personnel and the dynamics behind that. But I think that's been spoken to death about. Uh, but it's all that left is to look forward to the weekend. Tava, September, thank you very much for joining us and giving us the lowdown of the other three matches rather than just Sundowns versus Celtic. 